Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Path of Exile. To start off today, we are going to be enchanting this large hybrid flask. Oh, that's already worse than what I have, but I'm going to reforge it once. Extra recovery, one low on life, 2% of physical damage, leached as mana during flask, flask effect. I'll take it, that's pretty nice. I There we go, flask tab. And now we can actually get on with this little episode of Let's Play. So Path of Exile has been just a complete douche. Every single time lately I've gone to play, it's, oh, there's a huge patch. It's going to take like 45 minutes to an hour to actually get done and over with. And, oh, look, I've got about half an hour to, to actually sit down and record an episode. Well, that's certainly not going to work out. So it's like, leave it, come back like two, three days later. I conveniently find the stairs extremely quickly. That's... Fairly surprising. Come back like the next day or the day after. Oh look, there's another patch because I just so happened to be at the... Uh, I patched right before the new patch came out. Woo. Oh look, a hot pat, hot fix, hot patch, whatever. And it's just been like every time I've sat down to do it, it just hasn't really worked out that I've been able to record an episode. So uh, I've been resorting to La Mulana, which I've been on kind of a roll with, and I'm getting to near the end. I've learned recently that, uh, with, unless it's a very short game, oh crap, I'm getting beaten alive here. Unless it's a particularly short game, I really can't manage doing three let's, different games for Let's Play at the time. My schedule just generally doesn't allow for it. Uh, which isn't entirely true, I tend to have a lot of other time, but I'm on a bit of a League of Legends spree at the moment. It's like, oh, I've got... Three, five minutes? Yeah, I can squeeze in an hour-long game. Yeah, why not? Not quite that bad, but... A, a good amount of my free time lately has been taken up by League of Legends. What kind of damage are these guys doing? I have Frenzy Charges in their elites. That would explain the... Uh, quite a bit of damage they were putting out. Um, so yeah, th uh, three, different ep uh, three different Let's Play series... Gonna be out of the question as soon as I finish up La Mulana and on Epic. Possibly, I don't know. I was I had been talking about doing uh, the original classic La Mulana. So I have no idea what I'll be doing. Path of Exile is gonna be an ongoing thing for a little while at least. We'll see what happens with it. For all I know, the next patch could come out and make this build completely and utterly worthless and just like whatever. And that we die horribly. My resistances should be reasonably high. Skill point, this will be an easy one. Oh look, a strength node. Character menu, defense. Resists, not quite. Fire resist is a little low. Can I do anything about that? I'm well, well over cap on my... Uh, Cold resist, so there we go. 72% resist to all. My armor is probably still a bit low. I can actually wear this piece of armor now, which is good. I've been hanging on to that, waiting to get some more strength. That's quite a bit more. I actually think I have a ton of armor or scraps, so I assume I have like two and a half, three stacks. I'm just gonna quality that up to 20. I have 120 of them. So why not? We'll get an extra decent amount of armor. I wouldn't recommend doing that before identifying them. You know, if you're wearing a real old piece of armor or you haven't worn armor yet, you can, uh, just for demonstration purposes, do I have an unidentified yellow piece? Here we go. We'll demonstrate on this random piece. 0%. I thought that would have gone to 5%. Ignore me. Sometimes I have no idea what I'm talking about. I swear there was something to that effect that occurred, but maybe not. And by maybe not, I mean evidently not, because well, I just tried to demonstrate it and it didn't work in the slightest. Back to my previous little uh, discussion. Uh, chances are if the build gets butchered, I'll just stop playing, figure out something else I want to do, and just convert over to that. It may not be something completely different. What the hell are these things, things using that hurt so much? Deals fire damage. My resistances are maxed. 
They all resist elemental damage, which means I can't kill them that quickly. But yeah, she's. Jeez, sheesh. She's, yeah. You know, we just combine words because we feel like it, why not? Um. So yeah, uh, three Let's Play episodes not working out particularly, or three Let's Play series, like I should say, not working out spectacularly. 7% lightning resist, 1% physical attack damage leached his life, 11% increased global critical chance, and adds a total of 2 to 7 damage. That adds a lot more damage. So unfortunately, not gonna get any use out of that. If I could finish my uh, train of thought here before I completely forget about it and go off topic, I did do a couple games here and there that were relatively short games. Uh, I was it Tiny and Big's something adventure, I think. I don't know what those are called? Tiny, was it Tiny and Big? Tiny and Big in Grandpa's underpants? I don't know. It was a short game. I did maybe, it was seven, ep eight episodes maybe. It was a quick, easy little thing. I could I could do two and then we would click with one. So at Let's Play series on the side, that would work. Um, a couple little games I also did. We have a unique rare here apparently. Just ignoring the fact that it's there, killing it. Another yellow that I'm not going to be able to use. Or not going to make use of, I should say. And oh god, lightning warp. Another series was Faster Than Light. Great game. I did a couple episodes of it. Didn't, uh... Really take it too far. Dungeons, Dungeons of Dreadmore was another one. Did a couple episodes of. I think it was maybe 20 in total. Never actually beat it, but it was a roguelike, so whatever. But, uh, yeah, so there's definitely some options as far as doing some short stuff on the side. Once Lamulana is done, I, like I said, I might start on a... The old classic playthrough. I did, I did the normal mode of the Lamulana remake. I did the hard mode, and so that leaves the old classic mode once the hard mode is finished. Hello, I wanna, I'd like to kill the things that are killing me, me directly next to me, thank you. Sometimes the target locking uh, does not cooperate when you get surrounded and the thing you're shooting runs off. It's one nice thing about melee, you always attack what's directly next to you and actually hitting you. You're not going to have mobs go into the, oh god, we're surrounding him and we can't actually hit him so we're just going to run away for now mode. As I'm getting distracted from my train of thought yet again. I don't really know where I'm going with this. Path of Exile is going to be slightly intermittent for... until Basically until La Mulana's finished. La Mulana having about maybe four or five episodes left to go. Then it's going to be Path of Exile and... Unepic. Until Unepic is finished, at which point then I will probably start the... Spent. Classic La Mulana. If I do it at all. Um... I also have two recorded episodes, or two recorded commentaries from La Mulana, uh, yeah. From League of Legends, I'm thinking of doing some of those as kind of just a on an ongoing thing. I'm decided how that worked, how that'll work out. I recorded two, I went back, watched the first one. It, I, I thought it was okay compared to others I've seen people do, so. Those will get uploaded at some point. I'm actually recording this episode to have it ready before I upload that. I did those, the two League of Legends commentaries yesterday. And it's like, I haven't done a Path of Exile or an Unepic episode in about a week. And here I'm like recording a bunch of League of Legends episodes. Like, all my free time. There it went. So it's like, yeah, I, I gotta get up some Path of Exile and Unepic stuff before I start with something in different entirely. Well, it's kind of funny, one of the biggest limitations I have recording Path of Exile, La Mulana, and... I, actually, I think La Mulana, I could do it, but... Path of Exile and Unepic, for whatever reason, don't work with the other recording method I've started using for some stuff. I record this with Fraps, it's basically just straightforward raw footage. Fraps takes, like, 30 to 
I think I'm recording at 60 frames per second, actually. It takes 60 screenshots a second and just writes them to a big file. That's essentially what Fraps does. So, um, the problem with that is it very quickly adds up to quite a bit of space. A half hour episode usually ends up being about 80 gigabytes. The, I'm just gonna open an explorer window here quick. The drive I'm recording to currently has about 200 gigabytes free. Because as I mentioned, my the one hard drive I had uh, kind of died. It still works, but it's extremely slow. And whenever I'm writing something to it, it freezes the computer. So it's like, it's there, it's got some junk on it I don't particularly need. It's just like some games I haven't... Oh, I haven't played this game in a while. I'll just stick you over here on this other crappy drive. Worst case, the drive dies completely and I have to re-download you from Steam. So it's like, it's not a huge deal if that stuff dies, but... I don't want to lose episodes and stuff like that, so I'm stuck using other drives. So, when an epi a half hour episode is 80 gigabytes and I have like 200 gigabytes to work with, like, total, you, I quickly find myself in a spot where it's, well, you know, this episode, the episode might be half an hour, this is usually two, three minutes before the episode, just, you know, when I remember to do inventory management, checking that the audio is going through okay, which, as has popped up a few times, doesn't always work out well anyway. But, there's a couple things I do. So normally like a 30 gig, a 30 minute episode actually ends up being about 35 minutes. A 35 minute episode ends up being about 40 minutes. So, that half hour, that is 80 gigabytes, we're now looking at about 100 gigabytes. So I can sometimes squeeze in two episodes at a time. And that, again, comes back to, well, you know, so you have an episode and, like, half recorded. Well, I have to render that episode and get it all said and done before I can do an another episode. Every once in a while it works out that I can get a an extra, extra one squeezed in. I'm gonna drop a portal here quick and just go fill my flask up. But, more often than not, I really can't record a ton of episodes at a time. That's pretty much how it always ends up working out. Fraps is great, don't get me wrong, the video quality is pretty good. It, just, the large files are annoying as hell until you re-encode them. For League of Legends, and I, I, I'm not doing it currently, but I believe I could do it with La Milana. I have been using Open Broadcaster, which if you're familiar with any streaming software, XSplit is another one that's pretty similar. Open Broadcaster just spin. happens to be a free version of it, or free equivalent of it. And it works quite well. It's encoding as I play. So, after, you know, for Path of, back to Path of Exile, you know, I record a half hour video with Fraps. With all the extra little stuff at the beginning and end, it works out to being about a hundred gigabyte file. The audio, I, it's completely uncompressed also. That's actually on a, a third different drive altogether, because I record with two separate programs. So the voice recording, it's like uncompressed WAV files. The audio for the thing, it's like a gigabyte, it's not a big deal in that regard. When I do all the like normalization and little enhancement stuff I do to it, just to make, it, make sure the volume levels are good and everything, as I'm dying again, I don't like these things. So, the raw audio is like a gigabyte, the stuff before I do the video editing is about another gigabyte, so the audio for the, vo the voice commentary is like two gigabytes total, compared to the video, which is huge for, in comparison. The audio I could realistically shrink down a lot, but it's like I have enough room to work with that that I, you know, just use the full quality, un unencoded, no compression, it's all there exactly as recorded. I don't have to worry about it to deal with it. Once I, you know, edit the video and the finished output product that you see up on YouTube, it's like something that you'd be watching right now, ends up being about, as I try to get to a safe spot so I can look quick, for example, let me kill these things killing me, and I'll look at the previous episode of Path of Exile, assuming it's here. Alright, episode 53 of Path of Exile was a 29 minute, 19 second video, it was, came in at 2.08 gigabytes. 
So, it from the raw video and audio, it's about 50 times smaller. So, you know, once I get the video rendered, it's great. They're a lot easier to store. I can store 50 in the space of one raw video. With Open Broadcaster, it's encoding the video as I record it. Ooh, a ranged attack totem. That could be interesting. Um, it's recording as I play, so rather than like a raw video output similar to how Fraps does it, the finished video from Open Ro Broadcaster is about 2 gig gigabytes. So I can record like 50 League of Legends commentaries in the space that this Path of Exile video that I'm recording right now would take up. So it leaves me a lot more room to play with. The problem ends up being if I use Open Broadcaster here in Path of Exile, if you saw any of the earlier stream episodes, it's not perfect. My processor in my computer is unfortunately not quite up to the task of encoding things. This is a simple way to put it. 30 seconds of footage will, will take, say, 35 seconds to actually encode. So we end up with dropped frames and stuff. So out of a 30 second period, you'd have a couple little hitches, stutters, free, free freezes. To the point where it's noticeable and will be annoying over the course of a large video. So, yeah, that sucks. I'd love to be able to do it that way and just not have to deal with it. Unfortunately, well, I, for the moment, I can't afford to get a nice shiny new powerful computer that could do all that stuff, so. I'm stuck using Fraps for the moment. It Don't get me wrong, it works great. It's just a little inconvenient as far as having to deal with that space. There was something of a point I was explaining all this for. That I don't remember in the slightest. Going on about the different recording methods. Path of Exile, it doesn't work for. La Mulana, it does work for. Hmm. I don't know. If there was a point, it couldn't have been terribly important. But, yeah, so League of Legends commentary is kind of nice. I can just kind of do them as I feel like it. I'm doing them as post commentaries at the moment. Maybe do some live ones. Um, really wish I remembered my point in that regard. But whatever, I don't, so no point sticking around on it. I'll remember in like an hour after I finished recording the video. I'd love to have a granite flask right about now, in all honesty. It would be very helpful. Alright, I believe we're just getting another strength node. Alright. Since I've pretty much not talked at all about what we're doing here, well, we are just about to fight piety. Piety. Pi piety. We're about to fight the end boss of the game currently at Act 3. It's not the end boss, end boss, but it's currently the end content of the game, aside from maps, but that's a little bit of a different topic. I've gotten a little bit stronger. These things don't seem to be ripping me quite as much of a new one. Ooh, a 5 link. Even traveling light. If I had the room, I might consider wearing that, but I don't. Actually, is that also a... That is also a chromatic orb. Or it will sell for a chromatic orb. Die. Alright, I'm not going to be using that walled leather. So there we go. We found a chromatic orb recipe item. Alright, now the fun will begin. Let's get the town portal down. Hopefully I don't go through this entire stack. Having my uh, hatred aura running this whole time probably would have helped. Has no one managed oh, look, to it's kill piety. No, no one's managed then to kill me. My personal attention. Let's see. I can actually take a shot or two from her frost arrows. That's good to know. It sounds like I'm hitting piety, but I can't quite tell. All right, we are. Resist elemental damage. Story of my life. 
And if she goes into a red portal, she's gonna come charging at me right up in my face. I wanna have a quick silver flask ready for that. Can I just keep running normally? Almost. Almost. And any minute now, she's gonna drop down some enemies in the middle. Patty's not actually that difficult on normal. She's pretty easy to solo. The only thing to keep in mind is that if you don't have enough cold resistance, you can get frozen in place, at which point you probably will die. You probably want to avoid that. Like there, I just got lucky and managed to sneak in between. My flasks are getting low. Piety is being stingy about summoning ads for me to refill my flask with, so we gotta pop back to town quick and just refill them. Of course, I come back and there's like a monstrous horde of ads sitting around. Kill these guys off as quick as possible before Piety starts attacking us again as well. They are just everywhere. And she's probably gonna charge at me. Or not, she's hiding over in the corner, shooting arrows. Well, apparently, ice arrows, I don't have to actually hit her. Hitting a wall with her behind it works, good to know. Probably not something I'll make use of at any other point in the game, but... Hey, there's the option, I guess. That's actually kind of a neat little thing. And now she's shooting with lightning. My lightning resists the 72, which is pretty nice. For this fight, if you're not using a fancy item with 30% to all resistances, you'll really just want cold and electric resist. If you only have the one resist really to stack up with two rings, prioritize the cold resist. The lightning is easier to dodge away from. It's a little bit more random and all over the place, or sporadic and use the frost arrows with the like 10 projectiles. It's pretty much impossible to actually dodge away from. I'll throw down some traps, why not? We haven't used those yet today, I don't believe. She powers herself up, becomes uh, all covered in frost, and now she's shooting with frost arrows, which isn't very nice. Can I get her before she runs into another portal? Can I get her before she teleports somewhere where I can't hit her? Stopped her energy shield regen, and down she goes. I believe in traveling. Well, life. Piety's dead. We beat the game. Thanks for watching. No, not really. We beat normal difficulty. It's back onto Cruel. We did it once before. It wasn't too bad. We can do it again. Nothing's stopping us. Try to see if I can make room to pick up that grinning fetish without having to go back to town first to sell. It would be nice if I could. I also need a tower key. Damn it. I'll drop you on the floor for a second. Grand Life Flask. Eh. You can always buy one off a merchant. I don't feel like having to come back here. Imp Dagger, other stuff. Um, still bugging me about that point I can't remember I was trying to make with the whole recording thing. I should also shamelessly plug myself. If you p play League of Legends, well, check out the League of Legends commentary videos I upload. I'm looking for Jeff feedback Lincoln. on them. <sighs> I can't learn. Okay. We gotta figure this out Hello? here. No, I don't want to purchase items. Let's get rid of this chromatic orb item. Good enough. We can now get that what reward book. What are you looking at? Alright, that's two passive skill points. Yeah, League of Legends videos, commentary videos, check them out. Let me know what you think if you happen to play League of Legends. If you just will check them out to watch them, thanks. I don't expect it. I don't ask of it, to, but ask it of you. But hey, if you check it out, let me know what you think. Um, ah, more reward items though that I don't know what I want to grab. Cold damage, accuracy, faster projectiles, item quantity, and point blank. Yet again, I'm gonna le let this just sit there for the moment. He's off to meet the maker. And it's gonna be a no, not yet. It's I'm, I'm, I just glance in the background. It's like oh, that's gonna be a f no wait. It is only about 25 minutes in. We have enough time to go to Act, oh well, Act One. We're going back in time. Gonna start things over. 
I'm gonna yawn apparently. Excuse me. It's like that, I, I think I mentioned a couple times, or I might not have mentioned a couple times. I've had like this cough thing that keeps coming back every so often. It's like, oh, I'm just gonna sit here coughing up a lung. And 30 seconds later, that's it for the day. I'm done. Not gonna cough again until the next day. It's like, yeah, my coughing, but then it's like, huh, I haven't coughed in a while. Now instead I'm just like sleeping constantly. It's like, tired, oh, I got eight hours of sleep, and I had breakfast, and I'm ready to go back to bed and pass out for like six hours. Oh, I went to bed for six hours on top of that, oh, and I'm ready to go to sleep again. It actually really sucks. So yeah, welcome back to T Twilight Strand, not Even the title the strand. There's the Tidal here. Islands, and there's Twilight Strand. While similar in appearance, they are, in fact, different areas. Unless I see a boss, I'm not gonna stop and bother killing any of these things. Just kinda not worth the time. So we're gonna run on- oh, no, we're not gonna run on through, we're gonna stop and kill this uh, rare boss. Or rare mob, whatever. I pretended I had an I, I had it all sorted out of what I want to call these guys, but I really didn't. Just gonna kill it quick. Get a portal scroll for our troubles. And now we're gonna kill Hillock. Yay, Hillock. This was actually pretty nice on one of my witch characters. I had a uh, searing touch. Adds extra levels to any fire gems slotted in it. And I was actually killing Hillock before he had a chance to stop and pull out his sword. So he didn't get his little regen tick, he just kind of died very quickly. You can actually farm Hillock here for some, you know, rares and stuff. It's, uh, it's actually not bad experience-wise, so I'll just, you know, hey, we're in Lion's Eye, Lion Eye's Watch. Lion Eye, yeah. Lion Eye's Watch, yay. So if we go back to Twilight Strand to open a new instance by control clicking the waypoint to teleport in. And we're just gonna run through back to the end. We're currently at like 21%. We're gonna ignore that rare guy over there because I don't feel like doing math. That rare guy probably had a unique. That one does too. We'll open the chest, why not? Oh my god, I had space to pick that up. That guy also has a unique. We're not killing any of them though. So we'll never know what they are. Alright, we're just gonna spam arrows here. We're at 21%. The bastard pulled out a sword, he got a bunch of health back. Hey, fire traps, and he's beating the crap out of me right now. I need- I- we're in cruel difficulty, which means I now no longer want to die because there are experience penalties for doing so. Alright, 21-ish percent. And we're now at 23-ish percent. 22-ish percent. So if you really want to, running through Twilight Strand and just killing any rares you come across, and killing Helic at the end, if you kill them quick enough, it's actually okay It's okay to decent experience. It's, I believe, slower than the ledge, but it's better for loot if you, you know, just want to do something different. You don't want to farm the ledge after you've done a bunch of characters. It's a nice little diversion. It's, the run is pretty straightforward and simple. There's not a lot going on. So, it, there's less of a chance of dying and losing a bunch of experience. And it's just a nice little break and diversion. You know, just do a couple little farm runs, watch a YouTube video on the side of the screen or something. Uh, I'm still sitting on those skill points. I'm gonna yawn again. Ugh. Excuse me once again. It's like, yeah, I can't even say. It's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna head off to bed now. It's like, no, I woke up like four hours ago. Uh, whatever. Anyway, back to the focus of the game. We've reached Cruel Difficulty. Next time, we'll be setting fo forth into the world. Just for reference purposes, I want to see what level Terrace is on Cruel. I believe it's 33 or 32. I think it's U is the map button. We'll find out momentarily. Uh, it's level 33. I am level 32, so I'm just now. tiny, tiny bit under level. Um... 
yeah, anyway. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, rate, and or subscribe, and have a great day.